the starting point uh, for this evening was memories of Amal development. It's, uh, it's interesting that in a piece that uh, Alia, uh, the, the film Memories of Amal development was made in 1968, and I just came across a piece that Alia did in 1980, uh, 12 years after the film was made, called Memories of Memories. Mm. And he ends the piece uh, with a line which says, I hope that the film grows old as quickly as possible. <laughs> the paragraph preceding that says, I mentioned earlier that after more than 10 years, the film continues to have an effect on the viewer every time that it's shown. I think it will have lost its primary significance its operative effect and grow old when all these vestiges of bourgeois ideology in the spectator have disappeared. <laughs> it will then remain simply a testimony to a certain moment in the struggle, a difficult but also lively and hopeful moment. I hope that the film grows old as quickly as possible. But as we all know, the film has not grown old. It has inspired poetry four decades uh, after it was made. Uh, last year, in fact, a young man uh, called Miguel Molina has uh, made a film called Memories of Overdeveloped uh, on a new novel that Senor de Noyes has written. I was, in fact, uh, privileged and happy to speak to Senor de uh, Noyes just this morning. I'm looking forward to meeting him in New York when I'm there uh, later in December. And he said he'd be happy to. To review uh, memories of over the development you know, together, you together. The point that I'm trying to make is that a lot of the concerns of uh, of the 60s are coming back to us, uh, and it's so when we were kind of planning this evening, it kind of began with me liking. Uh, this book that they have done a great deal, and I said, you know, why don't we meet together? And they said, all right, can we kind of string it together with some of your films? And so I said, how can we do that? And then I found that some of the films that uh, I worked in at that time, separated by geography, where's Cuba, where's Bengal in India, uh, and films being made in 68, 69, 70 at that time had uncanny intersections. Just a brief background, uh, those were very turbulent times. The late 60s, early 70s uh, were very turbulent times where I come from, uh, which, is, which is West Bengal in the northeast of India, West Bengal, Calcutta. Uh, an extreme left urban revolution of young people, very violent, uh, was taking place. Uh, governments, police were being very repressive. Remember that this was just after the, the French uh, students' riots of 1968. All of it happened at the same time. Alia is making memories of our development. Uh, filmmakers in Calcutta are making urban films. Uh, filmmakers, filmmakers of international stature and renown are making urban films on similar themes. So that's one, one intersection. The other intersection, coincidental, is that I, as an individual, am accidentally starting a film acting career at around the same time. Accidental. Why accidental? Because here I am, uh, a student in economics, uh, interested interested in cinema, uh, interested in in the institutional framework of cinema, setting up film societies and so on. Maybe going into filmmaking. But I. But here is this great filmmaker called Satyajit Ray, uh, starting an urban film, his urban film called Pratidwandi or the Adversary. And he wants a new protagonist, so he, I have met him before when, uh, when I've been, uh, you know, when I've been part of a group setting up a, 
you know, nursing from society and he gives me a call and he casts me uh, in the lead. And so I begin, and <laughs> among two or three, I begin an accidental uh, filmmaking uh, career. So, I'm going to show you it is impossible, obviously, to, you know, to, to, cover, to cover any kind of, to give you any perspective of, of socially engaged cinema in India uh, over 30 or 40 minutes. Or indeed, even my career as an actor, and in any case, why shouldn't be interested in my career as an actor? But, uh, so, but it's impossible to do that. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do is to show you uh, clips from five or six films, from just two films, Rai and Rinal Sen, another internationally acknowledged director from the left but with a very different style and and much more much more explicitly political uh, and as it happens of about the same age as uh, people like Sanal Desmans uh, coming from the same kind of of, of generation and strangely, with similar themes, uh, in Memories of Underdevelopment, one of the themes in Memories of Underdevelopment is the alienation of the urban intellectual, which is Sergio, in, uh, in a revolutionary situation. Adversary, or Pravidhani, which is the film I'm going to show you, of which I'm going to show you clips first, which was my first film as an actor, deals with a similar theme of a young, educated, uh, educated young man in Calcutta who's done two years of medicine, has to drop out because he needs a job, is angry at the situation, his younger brother is active in the revolution, he's dissatisfied with his situation, he's alienated, uh, he you know, banks his head against the wall, but he's unable to do anything about it. So there is that. The second film I'm going to show you, uh, where I play and a young revolutionary who's exiled, who's exiled in an apartment, questions, endorses, the, endorses what's going on in Dakar at that time, but questions the means, questions, questions the violence, questions violence and the means of revolution, which is also one of the themes of uh, memory. Which is what I mean when I say that mm -hmm. completely, you know, very different. There are strings of intersections. But to repeat, as I said, hope that there is some of these things have some resonance, and I hope that we can discuss some of these things at the end. So we will first play three clips from, uh, from the first film, which is the adversary. Uh, in the first clip, this young man goes to an interview, a job interview, jobs, jobs. Uh, another theme of great relevance today, uh, 40 years down the line. Um, second clip, another job interview, but of a very different kind. He reacts very different. Third clip, he turns his back on all of that and goes away. That is his protest. Here we go. Can we have the
So, all right, that's the film. We can talk about it. Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to add that this film.